Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to publish your very first website to World Wide Web. So you will be able to share your masterpiece with your friends and in the future with your customers. If you like the content on this channel, consider subscribing and leaving a comment. If you don't like the content, I will be also happy to improve it according to your recommendations. So make sure to participate down in comment section. Before we start, you should be familiar with basic principles of servers and their contribution to World Wide Web. Anyway, I'll make a quick summary of that. So as you can see, I made a simple animation video which represents basic communication of client and server. On the left side, we have a client which is meant as your computer, your phone or basically any device that you can browse the internet with. And at the right side, we have a server. If you don't know what server is, it's really powerful computer that serves all the content that you can find online. As you can see here, we have two arrows, one for request and one for response, which are the main part in web development. Now let's play the animation. The www presents you searching on a web browser a specific website. If you go to the web browser and type on any website, for example bankflaps.com, your website that you want to visit is displayed on web browser. So if you go back to the video, you can see that, that the URL is sent via a request to the server. Server is now looking for that website. If the content for this request is found, HTML document will be sent back to the client via response. Our device that opened the HTML document is web browser such as Chrome, Firefox or Internet Explorer and displays a website in more readable form. If you go to any website and right click and view page source, you will see the actual document that was sent from server in response. Our browser can then convert those blocks of HTML code to this nice looking website. If you want more detailed video about communication between server and client and how the World Wide Web works, comment down below and I'll make sure to create one. I have created a website using HTML, CSS and some JavaScript. As you can see, this is my index.html file that should open when user sends a request. I also have a folder for images that are displayed on the web page and some assets like CSS, JavaScript and also some fonts. And now our goal is to share this index.html with friends or any other people in the world. Right now we are viewing this website from my local computer file system. This means that index.html is accessible only from my computer and I cannot share it with anyone. For that, we need a common computer that everyone can connect to, and this will be a server that we mentioned before. We have to transfer our files to the server, so clients from anywhere in the world will be able to send a request for this specific website and get the response of this HTML file that we created. I hope you have basic understanding what we are doing right now. There is a lot of ways how to upload our website to the server, but in general, servers can be really expensive to buy. So there are a lot of alternatives what you can do. Today we will cover only the free option and in the next video the more customizable one. Uploading your website on a free server is possible with website Tinyhost. Using Tinyhost, you can just upload your files like you would be uploading them to Google Drive. The downside of Tinyhost is that you can only have a subdomain. Subdomain is when you can edit only part of your domain, usually the first one. My website, for example, has completely customizable domain. But for this kind of domain, you have to pay like 10 bucks a year or something like that. It depends where you buy the domain, but more on that later in the next video. Since we are uploading our website to Tinyhost, they are the one to choose the domain name. So your domain can be anything.tiny.site. This type of publishing websites is okay for testing purposes or just for learning how the servers and domains works, like we are right now. Now you can open your website project 
like I have right here. And then you have to put every file or website into a zip. I have it here in banks.zip. Now we can upload this zip into tinyhost. Click on upload files and then choose your file. And now you can choose your subdomain that will be displayed in the URL. I will name my subdomain testing banks. You also need to include your mail. I will use temp mail for testing purposes. Temp mail is a really nice feature where you can get generated a temporary mail which you want to use only once. Now we can click launch and they will work their magic. Ok, our website is nearly live. As you can see we have to go to the mail right now and activate the website. So now we go to our temp mail. We can see that we have a new mail from tinyhost and we have to click on login and our website is now activated. Here is our website and if we click on it you can see it's live on the domain you chose before. Now you have your website online and can be shared with your friends and or anyone in the world. As you can see the website also includes tinyhost watermark. This can be removed with purchasing the premium version. But for now our website is live and that's all we care about. In the next video I will show you how to buy a hosting and how to set up a website on a customizable domain. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.